If I knew how to use YouTube, I would tell you that gold and silver just got crushed and I bought the dip. Very exciting, just think of the views. The problem here though is that it really wasn't much of a dip and I guess I'm still learning how this thing works. So maybe you were going about your day, happened to look online and noticed that the price of gold dropped without warning. And is this a big deal? No, not really. The drop was all of a percent and a half. But there is a mental game at play here because first off, spot was rallying. And then second, it broke that psychological barrier of $1,800. Well, now it's back to $1,770. So not anything to be concerned about, probably not enough to really even make a video about, at least not if we were just going to talk about that point and a half change itself. Uh, these swings, they happen all the time. And the daily change of a percentage point or two, even five in the case of silver, that in itself isn't interesting from a value perspective. Your physical gold and silver, it didn't suddenly get less valuable unless you ran in to sell it, I guess. Daily swings, they aren't really about physical gold or silver at all. Mostly they're just numbers on a screen for traders. If the swing signals a trend though, like moving up anytime the Fed talks about slowing rate hikes, then yeah. Or if it actually becomes a trend, that is different. It gets interesting when it lasts more than a week. And say there's an event coming up down the road that's going to likely affect metals prices, affect them more than a percentage point or two, and affect them for more than a week, then yeah, I'm interested in that too. That would be like an actual reversal of Fed policy. I'm going to be interested in that. In the immediate future, we do have some things coming up. We have some big news hitting December 13th and the following day on the 14th. Today's swings, today's Monday, by the way, I'm not sure when this will get posted. Those swings really can't be considered a trend ahead of news like that. The new inflation numbers, that's coming on the 13th. And then the Fed's rate hike decision, that's the 14th. What a swing can do, though, is get me to buy. I almost hate to admit that. But this happens especially if I'm buying online. Now, in person at a local shop, it's different. I almost feel bad if I time a drop perfectly, show up in person. It's almost like I'm cheating the shop owner a little bit, at least if I like that shop owner. But online, I'll see that $30 swing and I'll drive it like I stole it. I jump on something that maybe I'd been on the fence for for a week. And I had been. We've been kind of riding a little bit of a rally, even though I thought the price is going to be heading up late next week. What I bought, there's really nothing special about it. So I didn't have to jump. I did. This was a bet. It's a small stakes bet, but it's still a bet. And what I'm betting here is pretty simple. I think today's all-in price is probably going to be better than it will be after the Fed meeting next week. Probably better than any other time this month as well. Now, if not better, at least close enough to a low that it really doesn't matter. The reason for the drop Monday was fear that the Fed was going to continue to raise rates. It's a total flip-flop. It's waffling. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but this is two days after Powell's comments stating the opposite. And it's a little bit ridiculous that trader sentiment shifts so quickly and it affects the price of gold so immediately. Now, what I grabbed is a pre-order from BGASC. That's buy gold and silver coins. It's a company that JM Bullion just bought. They had a 2023 Buffalo for around $1,900 all in. That includes premium. And the reason that I said that that's nothing special is just that it's a pre-order. I could have just waited until they were available. Now, it might not even be a good deal by the time I post this video. It might not be a good deal by the time the coin comes in, but I feel like it will be. This was enough to make me feel like I'm getting a deal since I would have been buying one in January either way. Now again, maybe I'm wrong. I really haven't picked up anything for December yet. If we get more of a drop, I will. Otherwise, I'll kind of wait. I still think that we're going to see that jump in price next week, but you just never know. The takeaway on these small price swings is that we'd probably be better off if we just ignored them. Bullion dealers, they don't even have to work on their sales anymore. The traders get it done for them because the price movement, well, that creates either a feeling of getting a deal or missing out. So the only people who really benefit on a recurring basis, at least, from those daily swings are probably traders and derivative markets. And we probably all know this, but spot price is based on the average trading price of futures contracts. And it's just a little bit strange to think that that's how we price physical metals. But again, here we are. Now, I talk about spot price and premium percentages a lot here on this channel, and I don't really talk much about all-in costs. And that's a lot more important to me when I actually buy. 
And talking about the movement on spot price, that's probably a little bit of monkey see, monkey do since it's just so popular around here. Prices are soaring, prices are getting crushed, and that's rarely true, but the all-in cost, well, that's pretty simple. And if I can get a buffalo for $1,900 all-in, I'm happy. And to put some perspective on that, I can get a Britannia for that same $1,900 even if spot price climbs $50 from here. So these small swings are really not a huge deal. Now, I still think this drop in price is short-lived, but if we're just looking at all-in costs, I could pretty easily offset 1% or 2% just by shopping a little bit, picking where I buy, picking what I buy. This swing, it really seems like a non-event. Last week's rally, it wasn't that much more significant than this one. I think we gained $50. Monday, we lost $30. But that rally, that made sense since it was based on actual comments about rate hikes from the source. It also signaled what's coming when the rate hikes actually do slow down. Monday's swing just kind of tells us that traders are twitchy tells us that spot price is twitchy, but you can still control your purchase costs, at least to a certain extent, if you just shop around a bit. So not a whole lot more to say on this one. I will know if my bet paid off in a month when the 2023 Buffaloes are in. And the date, it really doesn't matter to me, but the premiums will be crazy on them until we get the new year resupply. As far as spot price goes, and this of course is just a guess, but if inflation numbers and the rate hike are lower than the prior month, so lower than November CPI and then a 50 basis point hike, well, we will probably get that Santa Claus rally in the markets. We'll probably get a bump in gold price and we might wish that we bought a week earlier, but I do think that we can always count on traders getting twitchy again. Regardless though, the more likely timing on significant moves is probably at least a few months out. If the Fed were to announce a pause, and that's probably not going to happen until say May of 2023, maybe we'll see a run in June. Until then though, probably smaller moves, something you could offset by switching out what you buy. So if you see Britannia start popping up on the channel, I guess you'll know why. And I think that about covers it. I ran a poll here on YouTube asking if a 1% or 2% swing in gold or silver price gets you excited. About 1,200 people voted at the time of recording, and 86% said, eh, not really. It's about what I expected. But those videos about prices soaring or getting crushed, those are the ones that get the views, so you never know. Either way, let us know where you stand. And I'm curious if anyone is making that bet, buying now ahead of next week's Fed meeting, let us know. And then while you're in the comments, of course, be sure to hit the like button if you found any of this interesting. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.